it's your girl queen sierra and i'm back at it again with another freaking video so if you haven't already seen my hair review for this amazing lumiere hair go watch i uploaded it yesterday so yeah hope you guys are being safe out here it is quarantine day like four I'm trying to crank out as many videos as i can so um yeah um if you didn't already go shop queen sierra boutique uh queen sierra boutique.com to get you them wing hair clips and to get you them lashes and spicy now today is going to be a tradition traditional beauty video today i will be doing my makeup and hair um it depends on what look i'm going for today i mean i really don't want to add any heat so i'll probably put this in that look cute half up half down hairstyle we'll see um probably touch my hair up a little bit but we're literally are not doing nothing today so i don't want to add any heat on any unnecessary amount of heat get it get it all right um heat to my hair because i'm just gonna be in the house one thing i'm gonna do is edit pack up some orders and um do a tiktok i ha i made a tiktok account last night so i'm gonna start doing tiktok so follow me on tiktok my name will be right there controversial i don't know i'm really debating it oh my god this thing is dirty i'm, I'm really debating like i don't know if i want to do this because it's a lot of claims on this palette uh, i mean if you haven't seen it it's like brand new i probably used it once I, probably, I went in here for like two colors and that's it i still have the foil one and everything so i mean i feel like there's a bunch of reviews on it so i'm i'm trying to like debate between these three palettes i mean everybody talked about these to the morphe everybody is done with morphe palettes because they keep lying lying and everybody's doing jacqueline because her palette is made with it's not cruelty free it's made with an, some type of animal i don't know, freaking know some type of beat i don't know what it is but yeah everybody says she's lying da 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 we need to stop supporting jacqueline um I say you can watch the the video about Jaclyn Hill and Morphe, and you can see if you want to buy from them. Um, Morphe is very is I love Morphe shadows, so I don't know. I'm still up in air, but the rapper Sweetie just dropped an eyeshadow palette with Morphe. I miss her last pretty little thing um collection. I was so mad because everything I wanted sold out on my size. I was like and I was I my exact size and I was like, oh my god, I'm so mad. Then when I finally when they restocked, I was I ain't had no money. I got paid the next day. So the next day I went back, it wasn't there. So I don't know. I'm looking at the palette again. I don't know. I don't know like I have enough palettes, so I don't know if I want to get it. But I don't want to get it. I want to support her. I'm supporting her by body palette. You're supporting Morphe. And, 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 and it's a pandemic right now. So, low key, I need to start. I need to save my money. And then, did y'all see, uh, 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 what's the artist couture? The owner, Mac Daddy, posted a video. He has like an all nudes collection. So let me know. I'm gonna let y'all vote down below. Do y'all want me to get the Morphe Times Sweetie palette and do a review on that? Or do you guys want me to do a review on the Artist Couture Nude? The only problem is, I'm gonna look at the palette again, but I don't know if it's suitable for girls. Okay, I'm not that dark, like I'm lighter. I'm, very, I'm like on like the medium lighter complexion so i'm really not that dark so i don't know that probably doesn't look like it suits darker girls but if y'all want me to review on that collection probably buy like two lipsticks a highlighter i love his highlighters and a palette let me know 
um and i'll let y'all vote in the description box i mean that's the description box in the comments down below but since we all seen this floating around the internet we see everybody does a review on these two things um we're gonna i'm gonna show you some something that i haven't seen anyone talk about so this is so cute revolution taste palette it's a sh um taste chili it says taste chili on the back it has all the shadows it has numbers not oh yeah it has um numbers on it and yeah so i should have kept the packaging but i was too excited so yeah um revolution has um these cute little like palettes like this one has chili on it another one had pizza on it another one had um, I just remember the pizza in this one and it was another one. I can't remember it was on top of my head. But these things are so cute and I haven't seen no one talk about it. Oh, at all. So I got this from Ulta. The link will be in the description box below. Hopefully I can find it online. But I didn't even I just took it out the packaging. And look at this. Look at those shades. So you're gonna know you do a makeup look with this because no one has talked about it yet. And I think it's so cute, especially for people that are just starting out with makeup or now they don't wanna support Morphe. We can support a different brand. They didn't do nothing wrong yet. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you again. The goals are like really intriguing me. So I don't know what kind of look I wanna do today. I have something in mind, but I don't know if I want to go with that one in mind. We'll see how that goes. So, everything else will be speed up, and then we're just going to prime and get to it. Just applying concealer is the can the next can't stop won't stop everything i use will be linked in the description box below everything i use y'all basically know it one thing i mean i basically seen it before on my channel besides eyeshadow palette and it's milani scream queen foundation and i love it um yeah and yeah i usually use like i usually see me blend it out with a sponge but recently i've been using a brush and I'm not mad at it. I just have to go in with a little more product and and then build it up. Cause I usually go in with a lot of product and then I rely on my um sponge to soak up the excess. Now I just go in with a little more, a little less, and then I'll blend it out. Then I'll add more later. And I kind of like this from my underneath underneath my eyes because. Underneath my eyes, I, I usually have to add like a lot of concealer, cake it up, let it dry, and then blend it out, and then it will work fine. But now this one can add a little less, pack it on, and then my dark under eye circles won't show as much. Why you guys say I don't have 
dark under eyes. People say I don't have dark under eyes, but I think I do. And so instead of buying a color corrector, let dry a little bit, use a brush, pack, 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 don't sweep, just pack it like, you sit yourself. You basically lightly hitting yourself in the face, like basically. That's what packing on, you're just hitting yourself a little bit. Well, packing sounds better than hitting yourself in the face, but <laughs> you're just smacking that brush in your face and looking up. Make sure you look up so you don't pack it any, any creasing. You don't want any creasing. And then we sharp, when, we, when we was concealing, we sharpened up the outer edge of the eye. And then boom. Everything is blended, everything is nice, everything is smooth. Every time I do my highlighter, I just round my cheeks out a little bit and like sweep it back. So I want just immediately stop right there. I run my highlighter pretty low. People keep their highlights back here, but I bring mine pretty low. So you know I have them big cheeks, so might as well just use the rest of the cheek. Okay, so why so, am I applying so much highlighter. I wasn't getting a highlighter happy that day, but my cheeks look like shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't even add that much highlighter if you don't want. But I was just getting a highlighter happy because my my cheekbones were just popping. It was popping. Put that set in. Now we're going to take our NYX slip tease in the color I woke up like this. I'm going to apply this on our lips and apply a gloss on top. Uh, if this is too light for you, you can definitely add a lip liner. So I went for a new for this look mainly because you know our hair is so my hair is so loud the color is so loud and my eyes are like so loud plus the lashes everything is so loud so I'm gonna mute it down with our lips Do like a nice glossy nude and this is more of a satin a satin matte finish So it basically mutes out 